What's up, traders? So, um, it is Monday, so it's time for me to run through all the pairs, kind of see what this week's going to look like. Um, let me see here. So, I actually got out of this position, USD, JPY. You know I love my USD pairs. Um, and we're right there on the 50 uh, fib level along with the key level here. So, we're bouncing, looks like, uh, to the downside. We got out at 4.09 um, last, when was this, on the 1st? So what was that, Friday? That's crazy. So uh, that was a good call to get out there. Um, it looks like our MACD is changing direction as well. Um, so, yeah, we're going to kind of watch this one. I want to see what happens. I want to see how hard it reacts here. Uh, this might be a time to take it down to maybe like the 200 and see how it reacts there. So maybe there's a, um, a play from here. I mentioned uh, last week that I'm going to start making plays off of this uh, these key levels. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the time. But I definitely could take this down right in here. Um, let me look at it. Hold on. You guys might notice, uh, I don't know if you noticed or not, but you might have noticed that I um, I don't like trading on Mondays so much. Um, and the reason behind that is I, I just don't want to kind of, you know, jump into, into things. Um, man, I don't know on this monthly. I don't like to jump into things before I can really kind of stalk them. I can kind of have a moment to... Um, to chase after the, not chase after, but wait for the trade to develop, if that makes sense. But to be honest, uh, whenever it's a key level like this, obviously I've already drawn in the key level because I've noticed it. I noticed that you see me. <laughs> but uh, I, I might have noticed it and then jumped in because of that or wrote it on the chart because of that. So for me, eh, my memory usually goes back about a week. So I can, I can know because of that, but um, I got to think about a greater picture. Did, did I already know that this was, you know, going to be a play back when it was developing back in here sometime? Um, so I got to account for that as well. This is why a written journal kind of helps too. Uh, the problem with written journals for me is I don't usually go back and actually review them. But whenever it's on the chart, I'm already looking at the chart. So, yeah, I'm going to pay attention to these notes uh, because they're right here. So this is just a hack that I feel, I guess a, a hack I figured out for my own personality, really. Um, but I think that might be able to help some people too. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and set a trigger on this. Um, and it's going to look like this. It's going to be on the key level. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give it some leeway. I'm going to put it on the pivot. And we're going to play it down. This is a one hour chart. Um, I want to see if I get hit here. I don't know. I don't know yet. I hope so. Maybe something like that. Something like that. Nothing crazy. Yeah, we're going to come up on the 50, 4 hour 50. What you guys know is a moment of truth. Um, I got legs on the daily chart, obviously. Down another. Uh, quite a bit actually so I'm just gonna look for a reaction man this might so also keep in mind this is like an exhaustion bar if it closes out I got a couple more hours before it closes out for five or six hours here um, at four o'clock but it might be the first of a couple of exhaustion bars and then I take this down so that's what I'm kind of hoping happens here um, I'm not 100% sure I'm kind of choosing to get in early um, on this play. This is why the first move of a reversal is kind of tricky. Um, I'll go over that in depth in, in my course, uh, which I have a link to below if you guys want to check that out, take a look. Um, I'm going to be having that coming up soon. But anyways, yeah, this is what that entry looks like, and I'm going to keep it here. Okay, we'll see what happens. A little bit too in depth there. I just kind of want to identify everything right now, to be honest. Uh, let's see if I can get rid of this real quick. 
you need that. This is kind of like one of those situations where it came up, it reversed way up here, and now it's kind of coming down. But um, it looks like we made two seven last week, probably. But it was already coming down. Um, to catch it going down again, we've got this, we've got the 50 that's kind of acting as a dynamic support. See how it's kind of cradling the price right in here. I'm not going to trade this. I'll watch it, but I'm not going to trade it. It's going to be on the list. Mostly because it's a USD pair. And I'm biased as hell. But at least I know it, right? I had an arrow on one of these. Where was it? Where did I have an arrow, y'all? I just saw that arrow. Okay, here we go. It's a small arrow. Make that thing bigger. Anyways, um, looks like we're turning around. We're, we're going, we're definitely trying to go higher on, on this. Um, how much higher is a good question. I'm not sure. Coming off a really big bar here. Broke that key level. This was supposed to be a key level. I don't know if this really is. A good key level though. Not really. Yeah, I got hella key levels in here. Like, I probably already did it. I'm going to take that one away. Because I don't believe it. Uh, we broke that way too easy. So, we broke through 50 key level. And now we're up here. Um, we got this coming on. And so I'm probably going to want to watch this right in here, see what happens. Hey, I upgraded my charts, by the way. Um, I have Pro Plus charts right now, and it's worth it, so I can do this right here. Put a plus, um, and I'm going to add an alert here, and the description. Can I change the description here? I think I can. bearish entry so what how this works is they're going to send me um, an email because I can pick that notify on app oh shit I didn't know they had that uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the app and um, do I want to pop up yeah I'll take a pop-up too that's fine I think I'm gonna turn off the email then I don't need to hit me like a million times here. Phone is fine. Anyways, that's pretty dope. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, and yeah, we're gonna kind of watch, try to see what happens there. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say there. Uh, that's USD, man. Um, all the USD pairs. I'm gonna make separate videos this time since I went long there. But yeah, that's how that's gonna look. And I got all kinds of shit going on. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video.